Do you need a mini split for your shop or your garage? This is a mini split that we installed in this shop and I'm gonna show you the installation, talk to you about what I do when I install mini splits like this and hopefully help you to understand more about mini splits. You're watching HVAC Tips for Technicians slash Homeowners. I'm Tad, let's talk about mini splits. This is a three ton Samsung Max Series single zone unit. That means we have one outdoor unit, we have one indoor unit. It's not a multi-zone unit. This right here will handle about 3,000 square foot foam, about 2,000 square foot residential standard insulated. So this is a 60 foot long, 20 foot wide, 16 foot tall ceilings uh, shop or garage area, you could call it. Uh, it's going to be used as a shop. So they're going to be working out of it. Now, this is the indoor unit, and since we have this metal uh, ridged, uh, corrugated metal here, we, we added this piece of plywood. And you can see the line sets go and the drain goes right through this PVC and right through the wall. And the line sets are running on the outside of the exterior of the building. We used line hide cover to cover up most of the line sets and you can see how it matches the outside exterior metal. So it's really nice. The reason we did not run it inside the wall is because the line sets for this three ton unit are hard to bend. It's five eighths tubing and it's hard to rough it in. Uh, I don't wanna use a rough in box with this. I wanna make sure that I don't have any water inside the wall. It's okay to use a rough in box and to rough in smaller sizes of mini splits, but with these three tons, I do not use a rough in box. If you don't know what a rough in box is and you want to learn more about what a rough in box is, I'm going to put a link right here. Click that link and it'll take you to a video where I talk about the rough in box that I use during construction process. After you've got the walls framed up, you use that to rough in your line sets and your drain and your wiring for your mini split. The outdoor unit sitting on a pad that's 18 inches by 36 inches long and this is a super nice unit look at that looks beautiful look at the disconnect it is away from the outdoor unit that way the inspector will not fail uh, the uh, final inspection you want to make sure that you don't cover up the disconnect and you can open it without touching the outdoor unit you can see where the conduit enters the outdoor unit and you've got your line sets and you can see this says 36 so that's 36,000 BTUs and the minimum circuit amps for this is 21 so 35 amp double pole breaker runs the whole entire unit and it pulls about 20 amps that is excellent maintenance for this type of equipment is super simple if you ever have water pouring down your wall from that indoor wall mount air handler you're just going to suck out the drain with a shot back the only other thing you're going to do for maintenance for this piece of equipment is you're going to clean the filters and i'm going to turn this unit off so that you can see the filters. Really nice. Take and lift this up, prop it, and then you've got your filter right here. Look at that. You just pull it out, wash it, blow it out with some air. Maybe you got an air compressor. That's the way you want to clean it. That's perfectly fine. Super simple, right? Now, one thing you want to know about these mini splits, this three ton unit is there's a horizontal vein right here that you can oscillate. I definitely recommend that you put it at about 90 degrees. That way uh, it doesn't hit an obstruction and cause bounce back effect. You see how it's still going? We can push this oscillating button and we can stop it. Watch. I'm going to show you. Because if the vein's set, you know, all the way down to blow, you know, towards the ground, then it may hit the floor. It may not get, oh, I'm just going to stop it right there. It may not get the air all the way to the other end. Now, this is about 60 foot, but this model of unit can blow about 40 foot. So that's really nice. But you see this? See? It can change the direction of the air, air throw. So we don't want it throwing the air towards the wall. So I'm going to take both of these and let me turn my light on for you. I'm going to take this one, move it over here, and then you can see how the other one is throwing the air. So it's throwing the air this way.
If you need help sizing mini splits, if you're a level one member, definitely comment below and let me know that you joined and you want my sizing guide. I can send you that guide via email. You should have my email, but if you don't, please comment below and let me know. If you want a video on how to size mini splits, I did a video on my HVAC training videos courses. It's a members only playlist. It's for level three members. Click the join button, become a level three member, and you'll have access to that whole video to help you to learn how to size. If you've got a project, maybe a house you're building, and you want somebody to help you size, help you to install, help you to buy the mini split, I send Samsung mini splits, whether it's single or multi-zone, all over the US because I offer that service. There are people that are building houses and they need my phone number, and I work with them over the phone and through email to help them to size and actually send them mini splits and then help them to install. So if you want my phone number, check out my membership levels, either become a level four or level five member, depending on your needs, and then I'll help to size, help you to install and send you the mini split that you need for your project. This is a barn dominium, super nice. We actually installed a split heat pump over here for these two floors and I did a video on this project before and after, so if you want to see that, I'll put that video down below so that you can go check it out. Look at all that beautiful ductwork. Enjoyed this little video where I showed off this mini split that we installed. Very proud of the work that we do, and I'm glad that we get the opportunities that we get, like this barn dominium project. Super nice. If you want to see that whole video, go check that out. Link in the description for that video. And if you need help as an HVAC technician, I hope that I'm doing a good job at educating you, and I hope that if you need help, you reach out. Homeowners, if you need help, please reach out, and I hope that my videos in the playlist, HVAC Tips for Homeowners, are helping to educate you so you can make the best decision possible, whether you're laying out the HVAC for your barn dominium or trying to pick the right contractor. Thank you so much for watching. If you like the video, hit the like button, subscribe, smash that bell, ding, so you know what I'm doing. Watching HVAC Tips for Homeowners slash Technicians, I'm Tad, and I'll keep you cool if you let me.